my name is Hillary Pearson. I'm the Senior Director of Governmental and Regulatory Affairs here at Line Vision uh, in the Chicagoland area. Um, wanted to talk with you a bit today because we've got some really exciting news to share in that the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC, issued a new ruling uh, this week, Order 881, which requires transmission providers to uh, utilize ambient adjusted ratings uh, across transmission grid networks in the U.S. It was a unanimous ruling um, that we feel will help improve the accuracy of transmission line ratings um, that utilities use throughout the U.S. And accurate line uh, ratings are really key because they help um, address the overall efficiency of the, of the transmission network, thereby reducing congestion costs and curtailments, as well as the cost to ele electricity consumers. So what this means is really an exciting step forward in the grid modernization journey. Historically, the majority of transmission line operating limits have been set on what's called seasonal or static ratings. And these ratings rely on very conservative assumptions about the weather and are therefore very conservative. But this ruling from FERC uh, helps moves us, move us beyond the current practice into the implementation of ambient adjusted ratings, which adjust um, essentially based on the local ambient air temperature. So Order 881 also approved a new proceeding on dynamic line ratings, which are essentially a next step in the implementation of advanced line ratings, which can help further improve uh, situa situational awareness on the grid, as well as reduce grid congestion um, and enable the integration of, of new sources of renewable generation. So we really agree with FERC Chairman uh, Glick in his assessment that if we are going to meet the needs of, of the grid of the future while keeping customer rates just and reasonable and maintaining grid reliability, we really need to do everything we can to squeeze everything out of our existing grid. So looking ahead, we do recognize that this change will mean a shift in planning and operations amongst utilities. And we have really strong experience working uh, with over 30 utility and transmission operators, including Xcel Energy, National Grid, uh, Duquesne Light Company, the New York Power Authority, and Dominion Energy, amongst others, to help support their grid modernization goals. And utilities work with us because our technology is a critical component um, in their grid modernization journey, which thanks to FERC's ruling this week does include the use of ambient adjusted ratings. So looking ahead, uh, what's next? Um, the line ratings ruling from FERC is really the latest in a series of policy driven activities and discussions related to the role of transmission in this resilient clean energy future that we are working towards. So following the ruling um, this week, transmission providers must submit their compli compliance filings within 120 days after publication in the Federal Register, and all requirements in the rule must be implemented, implemented no later than three years from the compliance filing date. So we're really looking forward to working with our utility partners on the implementation of this ruling, as well as actively participating in the new docket um, regarding the use of dy dynamic line ratings. Uh, we are also going to be monitoring the implementation of the various grid-related provisions in the recently passed Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, um, as there are pr uh, provisions in the bill, um, specifically the Smart Grid Investment Grant Program, that do call out advanced transmission technologies uh, like dy dynamic line rating as a qualifying investment. So again, we're really excited to talk with partners, uh, answer questions, uh, and really help, again, work on implementation of this order, as well as uh, the future discussions uh, related to dynamic line ratings. So I encourage you, if you're interested in lear learning more, uh, starting a conversation, asking a question, please reach out to us either on our website, line, linevisioninc.com, or you can send us an, e an email at info at linevisioninc.com. And we'll look forward to talking with you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.